video in my Pandoc template mini tutorial. I want to address the limitation that you can only do an if statement for if it exists or if it's true false. And you're quickly going to run into the situation where you need to test if your uh, YAML variable equals a certain value. So what do you do in that case? Well, in that case, you need to write a Lua filter, and it's not that hard. Um, basically, what you're going to have is, um, let's, first off, let's go here and let's see where this filter is going to show up. So when you're doing your format here, you know, PDF, you're just going to have a line here, filter, and then you're going to list your filter right there. And what's going to happen is this some code that's going to run before all that uh, tech is being generated. And you're now going to be able to use this to uh, specify some extra meta metadata values that you're going to be able to reference in your Pandoc template. So let's see how that is. Let's say, um, so we're going to create this file and it's going to be called my uh, Lua dot Lua. So when I go back here, oops. Um, in my PDF filter, it's going to say my Lua dot Lua. Okay, that's what I'm going to have. And let's say that I just want to have um, a, a YAML in there. That's the animal type. And if I make that animal type cat, then I want to have this metadata that's called is cat. And if it's not cat, then it's a dog. So the basic syntax is going to look like this in this Lua filter. So you want to have function meta m. So this is calling the, the function that's going to set these metadata, metadata variables that you're going to later reference in your Pandoc template. So have that function, and it's going to have end, and you need to return the m. Okay, so the, this is sort of the, the fencing beginning that you need. And then within this, now I can define this metadata. And here's the syntax here. So it's m dot is cat. So is cat is the name. And here's what you're going to need to do. So it's this function called pandoc utils stringify. That gets the string value of your animal type. So if animal type is equal to cat, so you really, you do have to have it in this function stringify. So if that equals cat, then set this metadata is cat to true and is dog false, else you switch it. So this is the kind of syntax that you're going to use. And now in my Pandoc template, I'm going to be able to issue something like, um, this doesn't appear in the Lua filter. I'm just going to show you what in your Pandoc template it would look like. So um, is cat, then, um, then you could do, you know, the animal type is a space uh, animal uh, type. Then I want period and end if. Okay, so you could do something like this in your template, uh, Pandoc template now. And so if it is uh, equal to cat, it's going to be true, and then it's going to put this in there. Okay, I hope these uh, videos helped.